Howdy. Welcome back to Dion Talk. A lot of times when people come up on a new year, we talk about setting goals for the next year, those New Year's resolutions. I prefer the way Michael Zuber from One Rental at a Time talks about doing the work every day. To me, time of year doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do today, instead of projecting what we're looking at for the next year, I'm going to ask Mike from One Rental at a Time and Matt, the Lumberjack Landlord, did you or did you come close to meeting your goals for the last year? Mm. Let's start with Mike. What did those goals look like if you had set some and how did you end the year? Yeah, so one of the things that I believe, because again, both Matt and I, we were enterprise software guys and that means we live on a 90-day cycle, right? So we are very used to, uh, like I worked in a career where you could literally be fired for lack of performance. It could, have, and we, and again, I was, I, I've been doing enterprise software sales for almost, two and a half decades, I have seen people fired in the middle, middle of QBRs or quarterly business reviews. It is a cutthroat business. So I've lived in that world and I've adopted that with one rental at a time. So you can go to my channel and look at a playlist called Goals. I do it every Sunday. Every Sunday, I look in this virtual mirror and tell you how I did for the week. So what did my goals look like for 2021? It's all around what I call positive impact. The rest of my life is very little about me, right? I don't need more money. I don't need more stuff. I'm trying to see what I could do to impact others. And it's a scale, right? So it starts with YouTube views, then it's book sales, and it's five star reviews. And then it's, um, I don't know, I forget courses in Facebook group. And then ultimately, not my deals, your deals because of this contest over my shoulder. And again, I look at them every week, every week. I don't look at it every day like I used to when I was in sales, but every week, every Sunday, usually around 10 o'clock, I'm having a conversation with myself. So I would say, um, you know, in a 52 week year, we hit, I don't know, 46, 47 of the weeks were considered good weeks. Uh, there's a few that were bad for whatever reason, uh, because we, you know, we didn't, we didn't close enough deals together or whatnot, but, but overall, the last 52 weeks uh, were good. And also in my world, every 13 weeks, I raise the bar, right? I don't set yearly goals. I, I set goals every 13 weeks. So I'm adjusting four times a year, which means I don't, have, you know, like if I do 12, I don't have to do 24. I can do 16 and then 22 and then 32. Uh, that's another thing that I think is, is too many people do New Year's resolutions like they have to be a year. I think you should do a 13 week goal reassess and move on. So um, again, I have a playlist called goals. You can go back and watch the last two years. And um, yeah, I think overall one rental at a time is, is having a great impact. Would I like it to be bigger? Of course, but that's not what I can control. I can just control doing the work. I can measure what's working and not and, and tweak. For example, one thing that took off in the last six weeks is my podcast. All my original content is on YouTube. If it's something we do, it's on YouTube. But now I pay someone to strip the video and post just the audio on a podcast platform. For the longest time, that got about 9,000, 10,000, 11,000 listens. About six weeks ago, it jumped to 150, 150,000, and then over 200,000. So again, that blew away my expectations. So um, I firmly believe you just keep doing the work, which is what I'm comfortable with. So I call myself a hammer. Uh, but yeah, I look every, every seven days. I'm asking myself, how do we do? How do we do? Don't look at it yearly, uh, review and tweak. Uh, but yeah, so that was my year. Awesome. How about you, Matt? How did it look for what you wanted to accomplish and as the year ended? Absolutely obliterated it because I didn't have any goals whatsoever. <laughs> I crushed it. I was, I still standing back in awe of what I accomplished last year. Oh, yeah. I just, we, yeah, we just, I, you know, I, uh, we don't do goals. The, the goals that we focus on are consistently the same, which is do great deals, do right by people, mm -hmm. recognize that you should always put yourself in the other person's shoes before you're making a decision. Um, and making sure to spend quality time with my kids and my wife outside of that. Those are the goals that I live by. So last year it was awesome. The most unbelievable. I never expected it. We just kept on doing the work, uh, kept on, you know, doing the math. And when it was all said and done, I think we, we did 10, we refied eight and we sold three. And this year, I have no idea what this year looks like, but we stopped, we got away from looking at, you know, 
let's increase our margin to this. Let's, um, you know, I think if you take care of the fundamentals, which is people and family, and when you're running your business, just run it well and optimally. And I think all that other stuff adds itself, you know, so that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, how we, uh, how we do goals. So yeah, I'm super boring with goals. I, we don't do new year's resolutions. We just execute daily. That's it. I think of the two of you, my strategy is more aligned with Matt's on this. I, I, I it come, Mike's <clears throat> do the work daily. That applies to all three of us. Yeah. That's, that's sure. why we were successful last year, sure. but the unaimed arrow never misses. And that's a quote that I use all the time when people talk about setting goals. I did not want to say I want to buy one or two rental properties in 2021, because what if I never found any good deals? It would come up on November and I would start to think I better lower my standards. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to do the work. I could set the goal of every day looking at deals on the MLS. Every time I see one that makes sense, make an offer as long as it makes sense to my math, do the research, do the work. But it wasn't a goal of how many deals I would do. I did have the goal of making a YouTube channel. Uh, So my videos for the three amigos come out on Sundays, but we record these on Thursdays. And when we're recording this today, it's actually the one year anniversary of my first video coming out on YouTube. My goal was to have at least five videos and have a couple hundred subscribers so that I can get that information to a few people and then have those videos so that when somebody on Facebook in the real estate rookie group or on the bigger pockets forums asked a question, I could send that video to them. So I think on this platform, I nailed my goals. Real estate, I nailed my goals because I did the work every day. Mm -hmm. I can almost say it doesn't matter how many deals I got because how many deals I got depends on how many I found. That's not something I can control. Agreed. You could control it if I never looked. There are people who aren't looking because they're waiting for that crash correction or finding the 1% rule. So they're just not even looking until that happens. Mm-hmm. So for the next year, I'm pretty much doing the same thing. Okay. I'm going to do the work every day. When I find a good deal, I'm going to make an offer. That doesn't mean it has a number of how many deals I would like to do. I like being a part of one rental at a time to help a million people, mm. figuring out how to track that because while the, the unnamed arrow never misses, if you don't track something, it can't be improved. But as soon as you start to actually monitor something, you can see things. If you write down how many days last week did I actually open up the emails and look at deals that my agent sent me? And you could see, oh, there were these two to three days where I never even opened up my emails to look at those deals. Why is that? What happened on those days that took that away? Now that you're measuring it, you can improve it. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I would like to see everybody watching right now. You're, you're listening to three people who are successful with real estate investing and made work completely optional. I wouldn't focus on goals that you can see like, I want this much cash flow. I want to do this many deals. But I would focus on, am I taking action that would increase my cash flow or give me the opportunity to find those deals? Yeah. What I want to tell you there is you don't, you don't set a goal because too many people say, I want X number of units, X number of cash flow. That is that is putting the cart before the horse. What you should be tracking yourself and why I do the daily or the weekly reporting of goals is I'm showing you the upfront work. All of this upfront work leads to deals getting done. The deals getting done are, it's like the last thing. It's all these other things. So track, do you have a buy box or not? How many times did I look at the buy box? How many new people did I meet? Track doing the work, whatever that means to you. How many open houses did you walk through? How many contractors did you call? These are things that you own that make you better. Mm-hmm. Don't set a goal that you can't, like, you can't control doing a great deal because it means you got to find a seller. You got to find a situation. You got to find this, got to find that. But you can, you can I, I looked at my market five days a week. Mm-hmm. I spoke to three new agents. Do the work. Exactly. So do me a favor. In the comments below, list out some of the goals you had for last year and let me know if you came close to meeting them. And look at the type of goal that you set to see if that's the same type of goal you want to do for this year or if you could change it to, am I doing the work? If people have questions they want to reach out to find you, Matt, how can they find you? Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube, lumberjacklandlord.com and 8.30 or 8 8 p.m., Eastern time on Thursdays with me and the lovely Mrs. Lumberjack. And Mike, if they want to get a hold of you. 
one rental at a time youtube channel website books instagram all that good stuff if you've made it this far in the video i bet you thought i was going to forget to use my catchphrase but not today <laughs> That's right. there you go until my next video thanks for coming to my dion talk we're sorry the number you have dialed is not in service at this time